1 minus that P of 0, 0 0.037 minus what? What's P of 1? 0.122. And what do you get here? Zero point eight four one. That's a probability of at least what? Two. So finally now here, six, probability of less than three is P of zero plus P of one plus P of what? Isn't that less than 3? So what's P of 0? 0 0.037 plus. What's P of 1? 0.122 plus. What's P of 2? 0 0.201. And you find, what's your final answer? Zero point three six? Okay. Probability of less than three. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some time. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'll give you a few more minutes and then we're gonna move on to the normal distribution. Okay? Um, I'm going to ask you this follow-up question just to see if you guys are awake. In the next 18 minutes of a typical office hour, what's the probability that no more than two students Arrive. We'll give you some time to do that. Okay. See if you can put these things that we talked about together. Recall that past stuff, and use this. Uh, use the use the things that we've been talking about. Okay. Then we're gonna move on to the normal distribution. Eddie, let's pa let's pause that, Ed. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at this. What do you guys know about mu? Or what's the relationship still? There's eight student visitors to what? 60 minutes. And in this setting, what are they saying? Yeah, the interval now is 18 minutes, so you don't know what that value is, but it's some value to 18 minutes as 8 is to 60. So you can set this up as mu over 18. Mu over 18 is 8 to 60. Okay, Multiply both, multiply both sides by 18. So what you really have is mu is 8 over 60 times 18. Now what is this approximated to the nearest tenths position? Hmm? What is that? What is it? Yeah, it's 8 over 60 times 18. What's that value? 2.4? Okay, so what they're saying is that, you know, if eight students arrive in a 60-minute interval, Yes, four can arrive in, what, 30 minutes. But in an 18-minute interval, it's 2.4. OK? It's 2.4. That's the value of mu. Now, what is this phrase, no more than two? What does no more than two mean? No more than two is short for saying not more than two. So x is less than or equal to what? Two. Two is the limit. Okay? 
not more than the value of 2. More than 2 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not those values is 2 or what? Less. So you have to determine the probability now of no more than 2 is what? P of 0, 0 is no more than 2. P of 1 and P of what? P of 2. So what happens is, if you don't have those values, then you're going to have to go what? Find them. OK? So here's what you could do. I mean, this is, this is one way to go about it. You're going to use your formula again, your Poisson probability formula, right here. But this time, mu has a value of what? 2.4. So here's what you can do. You can say, OK, it's still mu to the x, e to the minus mu over x factorial. Plus, you're going to use the Poisson formula again, mu to the x, e to the minus mu over x factorial. Plus mu to the x, e to the minus mu over x factorial. So I wrote down here 3. versions of the formula. It's the, it's the same formula. But now, in the first case, x is 0. The second case, x is 1. The third case, x is what? 2. Is that right? And mu in each case is what? 2.4. 2.4. 2.4. 2.4. 2.4. So if I really look at all of this, what I really have now is, OK, 2.4 to the 0, e to the minus 2.4 power over the 0 factorial plus 2.4 to the first, e to the minus 2.4 over 1 factorial plus 2.4 to the second, e to the minus 2.4 over 2 factorial. All the nice algebra and arithmetic here that we know and love applies. So what I really end up with is e to the minus 2.4. 2.4 to the 0 power is 1. 0 factorial is 1. So these values are 1 in the same way they were 1 over here for p of 0. Same thing's happening. But now it's e to the minus 2.4 plus over here 2.4 times e to the minus 2.4. This time it's over, well, 1 factorial is over, uh, is over 1. Okay? Plus, again, 2.4 squared e to the minus 2.4, everything over, what's 2 factorial? That 2? So here's what you can do. You can, you can use algebra. You can, you can use algebra. You can say this is e to the minus 2.4 times 1 plus 2.4 plus 2.4 squared over 2. OK? This is a f you could do it this way as well, just as using some, some algebra. You guys took the prerequisite. You, could, you know what it is to factor, OK? Um, and you can enter all this in your calculator, and it'll give you your, spit out your answer. Um, otherwise, what else could you do? Determine the value here. Determine the value here, or the value here. Or same thing, here, here, here. Add those values and you're done. Okay? So I might be tempted to just, like I said, use some algebra because it makes it really makes your life easier. Um, e minus 2.4 times in parentheses 1 plus 